Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Joe Nags and I'll be talking about parenting technology. When I was younger, times were so much simpler. There wasn't that much technology to parent. My main source of entertainment when I was younger was the television set and the video player. After I learned how to use the video player, I managed to force my parents to watch Thomas the Tank Engine all day long. Fast forward to a couple of weeks ago, uh, I went to my sister's house, uh, her internet wasn't working, so I went over to try and fix it for her. And there my two nephews were, they were watching TV. I asked them which they'd rather prefer, the TV or the iPad, and they surprisingly chose the iPad. The iPad in the last couple of years has managed to change home entertainment in the household dramatically. And now I was fascinated to learn more. I found a survey that was commissioned last year that is titled Parenting in the Age of Digital Technology. So I delved straight in. The findings are quite interesting actually, but also somewhat surprising. The TV is still the central focus of the household, with 99% of the people in the survey use the TV as entertainment. And that's not just for children, that's just that's for everyone. But this is slowly changing, especially as the survey says that the percentage of people that have the TV on, but not necessarily watching it, is increasing slightly. So if they're not watching TV, what are people doing? When I eventually fixed the router at my sister's house, the first thing the kids wanted to do was go on their iPad and watch YouTube videos of Minecraft. This piece of technology, coupled with the internet, meant that the kids could do anything they want. The kids wanted to show off some of the apps and games they played to me, and there were quite a lot of them. <laughs> Suddenly, they're holding this mini home entertainment system right in their hands and they can take it anywhere they want. Suddenly, entertaining your children could be a lot easier. It's like having a personal nanny that can read ebooks and can play interactive games. It could even be used as an educational tool, with the app store slowly filling up with applications that can help your child. So far, everything sounds perfect, but we all know we're not in a perfect world. I wouldn't call my sister the most tech-savvy woman in the world. She asked me to fix a router, but I was often surprised when I saw the kids talk to her about the iPad and the apps, and the, the kids ended up trying to teach her how to use it. Because, of course, my sister doesn't really go on the iPad herself, she just lets the kids go on it. The best I heard was when I heard my nephew trying to convince my sister to buy an in-app purchase. And because my sister didn't really know what was going on and why this was necessary, by the way, it wasn't necessary, she gave in and bought it. Sometimes parenting technology can be quite tough, either because they don't understand the threats, because they don't realise there are ways to control the content that can be viewed, or they just, they just don't understand the devices in themselves. And in some cases, it's the children that are teaching the parents how to use the devices. What I was trying to say is that technology and the internet is spreading through the ages and sometimes it can be pretty difficult to control what your kids are doing or what your kids are viewing especially when you don't know how to use the devices yourself my mum was dead against me going on the computer when I was young but my dad embraced technology he, he didn't mind me going on the computer so I was allowed to play games which my favourite game back when I was three years old was the magic tar bus game it was fantastic but I'm pleased I was able to go on the computer because I like technology, it's pretty good, and it's made me the person I am today. But I'm not a qualified parent, and all the stuff that I'm talking about is, is new. So none of us know what to do really. If you have any thoughts on this video, or anything you want to add, I don't mind, tell me and uh, I'll read through the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.